All right, guys and gals, Crypto Kurt here with another crypto video. And today we're going to be talking about the upcoming opportunity for staking Cardano. Now, as usual, uh, the normal disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, and this video should be used for entertainment, research, and education purposes only. So as you guys know, I love the passive income opportunities presented by certain cryptocurrencies. And the upcoming Shelly upgrade to the Cardano network is going to provide us with exactly that. So if you own some Cardano or you're interested in an adding another passive income stream to your portfolio, picking up some Cardano uh, will allow you to get access to this. And I'll just share that it's uh, the, the Shelly update was supposed to be live the first quarter of 2019. It's not quite live. I actually have a quick update video that I'm going to play from Charles Hoskins, who uh, manages the whole project. And we'll get into that in just a second. First, I thought we'd have a quick look at the price action. So we're over here at Coin Market Cap, currently Cardano is number 10 on the list. I'll just mention uh, Bitcoin's had a bit of a breakout, broke above 4,200. I know for a lot of technicians that seems to be an important, um, an important ceiling to stay above. So again, if you're interested in Bitcoin, you might want to keep uh, keep an eye on that. But back to the Cardano, let's see what's happening there. We've had uh, quite a nice run with regards to the price action over the last couple of months. Uh, in my humble opinion, a lot of people are obviously aware that the staking opportunity is coming up soon and they're picking up on it. <laughs> when you look at the whole uh, when you look at the whole history, it's um, it's just a little glitch, right? And, and as they say, that's that's often the case. Let's drill into the last one month and just see what's happening for the last month here. You can see again a nice steady rise, and you can certainly see an increase in the volumes of trades as well. And there, a lot of people have been talking trash about coin market saying they're you know they're using the wash trades from various networks so what i thought i'd do is go in and look at the actual trading on one of my favorite um exchanges which is CoinSpot here in australia you can see the price difference is simply that's in australian dollars not in u.s dollars and this is the one month chart on the four hour um candlestick so again pretty much a a, a, a choppy run but very, very, um, uh, <clears throat> lots of volume and lots of increase in value over the last month. I started picking it back up at five cents about three months ago and have been nippling along the way here. But uh, I think it's starting to hit nosebleed. Of course, you know, if you think long term, Cardano, you know, 100 bucks, buying it at 10 cents is nothing. But again, this is not financial advice. This is only to give you an example of where we're at right now. Okay, so this is the answer. Charles Hoskins is at this at the, during this video. He's held up in an airport in Istanbul, and the sound is not all that great. Hopefully, it'll come across on uh, using this microphone as best as possible. And uh, let's just see what he has to say about launching Shelly Testnet and the staking. Any news on the stake pools and the manner in which the decentralization process will occur? Uh, so we're under, we're, that's underway. Uh, we just shipped 1.5. Par fork will begin in probably next month. We'll coordinate that with the exchanges, but we need to make sure a lot of people upgrade first. And, uh Okay, just a quick interruption there. So when he's talking about upgrade, he's talking about the Didalis wallet. Currently, it's they've released the 1.5, as they said. I'm still on 1.3, and I think a lot of people are on 1.3, but to actually get the staking live, you do have to upgrade to the 1.5. So uh, I'm going to do that myself this weekend. If you have not downloaded the Didalis wallet, uh, just be prepared for a, a long time of uploading to getting caught up on the um, the whole blockchain because again with that wallet you have to download the whole blockchain and that took me quite a bit of time um, the wallet was dropping out there was some connectivity issues etc it ended up that there was some issues with one a version 1.12 I think and so now again we're on 1.13 and they've shipped one, either 1.15 or 1.5 as you just said so let's get back into this uh, there's a fairly high upgrade rate there. I'll get the numbers next week. Uh, but um, the Shelly testnet is almost out, and that's basically going to start st uh, stake pool saturation. Um, the wallet backend has been mostly decoupled. Uh, they're following an extreme programming model. In case Ben Core is the uh, head of that work stream, and they're getting releases like weekly or biweekly. Uh, they're moving very quickly toward integrating the uh, Haskell wallet backend code with the Rust code. And then uh, Eric DeCaster is right now working on taking the new Haskell code and connecting that code, uh, uh, the two distinct pieces of that code, so the network code and the consensus code, and connecting that to the chain code, the ledger rules. 
And once that connection is done, we can begin connecting those two modules to the wallet backend. Uh, so then we can actually have the wallet backend connecting to two distinct cores, uh, one in Rust and one in Haskell. Uh, so that's actually happening pretty quickly. Uh, so uh, as the SNET is released, we'll see rapid iterations, perhaps even weekly, where we just keep adding and adding you know, code that's on the sidelines that we're rolling out. And uh, at the same time, state saturation will be occurring. And then what will occur is we'll connect the Rust code to the Haskell wallet backend and to Deadless, and that will be a fully functioning unit. So end to end, that's functionally what we imagine Shelly to look like. Uh, so uh, as we get closer to that, uh, we will begin a pretty comprehensive security audit of all the new code that's written, likely with Kodelsky as the auditor. Uh, and as soon as that's remediated, uh, then we'll be in a good position to actually roll out uh, the full Shelly stack. Uh, so that will be post 1.5 hard fork. Uh, and the stake pools who are registered on the Rust side can easily roll over, re-register quickly on the new uh, code base. Uh, it will be roughly the same user experience, and there will be no surprises there. And then just the march to centralization. Uh, so I think it's a pretty reasonable launch strategy. Uh, you know, when you do a proof of stake cryptocurrency, you have to wait for the market cap and for the distribution to get a little spread. Because what you don't want to happen is that most of the money just stays on the sidelines. People buy it at a very low rate, uh, and then the system launches, and you know, you basically you have this plutocracy. You'd rather have trading. Uh, you'd rather have natural markets occurring and the Gini coefficient proving a bit. Then you'd also want to have some degree of network stability occurring, and then you gradually decentralize from there. Um, it's kind of a thought experiment. Imagine launching a proof of work cryptocurrency today. Uh, with a high price but low hash rate, uh, and that would create kind of a problem. Okay, so that was a little bit technical, but hey, he's a technical guy, and I'm glad that he's the guy running the project. So let's take a quick look at uh, how the staking might work, and what is the potential benefits and payouts. Now, I'm just going to run you through. So this is a standard uh, staking calculator. You can see it's adacalculator.com. This is the actual amount based on these parameters. So we'll just take a quick look. So based on the parameters that have been put into the system, if you have a 1,000 ADA, uh, the total reward annually will be 35.191443. Total rewards in USD, I don't know when, where they're getting the price from. Um, I, so I, yeah, again, I don't know where they're pulling that price from. Probably more important to look at the ROI, which is 3.519%. And you can see that per day, the breakdown, 0 0.09 per week, uh, per month, and finally per year. Now, there's a bunch of parameters here which are going to affect the potential payout and your ROI. Obviously, the amount that you're staking, um, the year, I guess, has some impact. This is another big one. So this is how many total ADA are being staked. Currently, the $15 billion you can see is 48% of the market cap. And then the next big one is going to be the average um, transaction per epic. As I understand it, an epic is going to last about five days. And I've seen, I was watching another video where some insiders from the project were saying that with the side chains that ADA is going to implement, that you, know, you could be looking at 150 million transactions per epic potentially, which would obviously change these numbers quite a bit. But I'm going to leave these numbers as they are. And the only thing that I'm going to play with is the number of ADA that you might get. Just by changing the number of ADA, the 3.519% will not change. The only thing that will change will be your payout. So let's say you have 5,000 of those puppies. You can see that now you're going to be getting 175 uh, ADA uh, per year. And again, same payout, total reward at, at using some price that they're pulling from somewhere, 12.57. Let's say we go 10,000 of those puppies. You can see now that you're getting 351 ADA per year. And if you could go 1,000, you can see that you're getting 3519. So again, if you leave the ROI alone and you work in increments of 10, you're just going to slide up by increments of 10. So to get 10,000 tokens at the moment at 10 cents Australian, it's going to cost you about $10,000. Uh, trading at 7.5 cents, again, 10,000 or uh, 100,000 of those, it's going to cost you about 7,500 in US dollars. And then again, you'd be looking at the ROI of uh, $251. Now again, if we turn this back to an exchange rate, um, again, if you're in Australia and you're staking, the obviously the staking value of your tokens are going to be up, as you just saw, with regards to the Aussie dollar versus the US dollar. 
All right, so that's going to be it for this one. I'm not going to do any in-depth drill downs into the white paper or anything. Again, this is more just getting ready, getting you guys uh, ready because it's going to roll out over the next probably quarter. So again, what you're going to want to do is download the Didalis wallet, which you can get straight from the Condano website. So you just come to the main site, scroll down to the Didalis, click on Learn More and click download and you'll get the latest version so it's uh, pretty straightforward but then again once uh, as I mentioned you have to download the whole blockchain and as I said that took me quite a while I will just add that while I was doing that I was also running some Windows updates at the time and it was a big Windows update so that was also slowing me down um, but again I think the 1.15 is probably going to move a little bit quicker and you won't have the, some of the connection issues that I had when I was doing this uh, what was four months ago or so so with that guys I uh, hope you get involved with the Cardano network learn a little bit about it I think it could be one of those go-to protocols in the future and again if we can moon from 10 cents to 10 bucks we'll all be laughing and with that it's crypto kurt out